Hello, this is going to be a rather short-ish video on an unfortunate, in my opinion, feature of the new Windows 10 full update 2017. I've got here Chrome open, I've got Task Manager open, there are a bunch of other programs this affects, but just for demonstration purposes I'm going to keep it to these. And the problem is, what would normally happen is when you click your start menu and you go to shut down or reboot, um, it would close all the applications that are open and it would perform the operation of rebooting or shutting down. <coughs> then when it came back up, now you're back at your desktop, everything is as it should be, uh, nothing open that isn't supposed to run with the system as part of like a proper auto start scenario. But what has happened is they've changed it to where there are quite a few programs that will, if you had them open at the time you did a restart, <coughs> they will spontaneously come up. Even if you have not told them to start with the system. So, as a little example here, I'm going to show it to you uh, with a slight twist of a configuration to kind of maybe make it a bit more... Uh, aware to you that this is a bit of a problem potentially and also a solution that I've tracked down online that I want to share with you so I've got the web browser open uh, and I've got task manager open okay so now I'm going to start I'm going to restart the system okay I might speed this up a little bit, cut a little bit out, just to make it go a little bit quicker. Okay, getting closer. Here we go. Logging in. Okay, and now we have the desktop. But wait for it. Just watch. Any second now. Even though I haven't told it to do this, there's Task Manager, for no reason. Oh my gosh, there's Chrome. How embarrassing could that be? Look at that. So I go and restart the system, I walk away. Don't worry, I'll, it'll be back on in a minute. I go and make a cup of coffee, I come back and the people in the room are looking at my browser history. Oh my god, natural cure for horribly embarrassing breakouts of sarcasm-itis. You know, and uh, because this is a bit of a planned scenario here, because I've told Chrome to always start up with the last session, which a lot of people like to do that because they want to carry on from where they left off. And in this scenario, if they're looking for, you know, things that maybe they don't want people knowing, all of a sudden it's going to start popping up. Bang, this program, bang, that program, task manager, calculator, whatever it is that's affected by this, that's going to happen. So now I'm going to show you the solution for this. Um, you can either press the Windows key and D to minimize everything, or if you have access to your desktop, like you can actually click it, just click the desktop and press the Alt key and F4 key, and you'll see this dialog, which is a really old dialog that's only used these days typically by servers <coughs> and Windows XP. If we do a restart from here, let's just see what happens. And it even says underneath, closes all apps, turns off the PC, and then turns it on again. So let's just try this, and we'll speed it up a bit for you. Okay, going through the BIOS boot up. Windows is beginning to start up. All right, here we go. Okay, there's the desktop. We'll just wait for a few seconds here now. And the the best thing about this is I don't think they're going to change this because I think this has been there for quite some time, this Alt F4 capability for the desktop to be able to shut down windows and, and things. Alt F4 is a hotkey you can use on the overwhelming majority of programs out there. It will either close a window of a program that's popped up or it will entirely close the program. For example, when I'm online gaming, 
many times I'll just press Alt F4 when I'm done instead of go waiting for the ending screen and then clicking on a menu and then clicking on quit I just press Alt F4 done other than Counter-Strike Global Offensive where that doesn't seem to work but there you go that's a little tip for you uh, now with this wonderful update to Windows 10 this causing more bug uh, features <coughs> Uh, if you found this video useful or interesting, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time on the next video. Thank you.